Hey guys, today I'm taking you on another beach trip. This is one of my favorite beaches in the Philippines. It's funny because this trip turned into a food trip, which was very fun. We have the best food here, so make sure to watch until the end. One thing about me when traveling, I always try to get an early flight so we can make the most out of it and have one full day at the beach. It's also a lot cheaper than afternoon flights, which is a bonus. So it's around 10 a.m. We have a few hours before check-in and I'm really hungry. So we're here at the first cafe that we saw in the mall to get coffee and some food. I unpack I'm gonna give you guys a hotel room tour so this is what you see when you enter the room a full-length mirror I'm so happy about this beside it is the bathroom the gorgeous bathroom I'm obsessed with the tiles I love the marble details I have my big ass bag here cuz I'm an overpacker there's two beds the window reminds me of the windows in Europe it's been raining here in Boracay since we got here. For some reason, every time I go to Boracay, it always rains. Even in Shurgao. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I was in Shurgao during the really bad typhoon and we got stuck there for a week. Whenever it rains in the beach, I get kind of scared because of that traumatizing experience. I showered and got ready and I'm gonna head out to dinner. I saw this Korean restaurant right beside this hotel and I think we're gonna go and eat there because I've been craving for KBBQ for the longest time so I got this stuff from Pollen Bear in Barcelona I don't want mango shake right now. The food trip officially begins here. So I got this mango cheesecake and I know it doesn't look appealing in this clip, but this is the best mango cheesecake in Boracay. It's so delicious and you guys have to try it. I got a fruit shake from Jonas. The melon one's my favorite. Melon milk. It tastes so good. I can taste the powdered milk though. I think they use powdered milk instead of like fresh milk. It's around 4.30 right now and we're gonna go paro sailing at 5.30 during the sunset. We're planning to drink out later so we got takeout just so we can eat in the hotel because we're pretty tired. I got ravioli and gnocchi. This is really good. I got it from Aria. I love gnocchi. I wanted to try something different, so I got gnocchi and I'm obsessed. It's really good. Another day, another restaurant. I wanted to eat at this beach cafe because I noticed that there's not much people swimming in front, so it has a really nice view. I got this fresh shrimp rolls. It has this light flavor. Like, if I'm craving for something healthy and refreshing, this is what I'll get. I don't really have an itinerary plan for this trip. I just have a list of the restaurants and places I wanted to go to. It started raining, so we changed our plans. Now we're gonna we're gonna go food hopping around. 
We're at Cafe Maruha and yeah, I've heard a lot of good reviews about this cafe. I also tried it before with my brothers and it was pretty good. So I'm gonna try something different. I got um, what did I get again? Wagyu. The Wagyu bowl. Yeah, I got the Wagyu bowl and he wanted pizza but then I saw the Wagyu so I'm like, let's get Wagyu. I also got Spanish latte because Angel recommended it yesterday. She said it's really good so I got it. Show them your outfit. Oh yeah, we took photos a while ago. He took my photos. <laughs> Finally, without any complaint guys, he took my photos which is rare. Making me look bad. I like taking her photos when she gives me creative freedom. Because she's usually like, stand here, hold it like this, don't move. <laughs> but then when she's like, okay, go, then I'm like, you know, it's fun. Yeah, I gave him creative freedom. And they're not pretty good. I'm gonna pop them here. Mm. This is really good. It's really good. How many wagyu have you eaten? Two. I only ate one. Two, three. <laughs> so I have two more. You have one last <laughs> wagyu. Because there's six wagyu. Okay? I'm sorry. I love wagyu. Where'd you get the biggest one? The sun is out, so we're chilling by the beach. Thank you, Tate. I'm happy by the relationship. We're in the middle. We're in the middle. I didn't get to finish the ube pancakes a while ago because it was huge. We actually got the half version because like the original one is supposed to be like really big. So the waiter told us that we can get the half one, and it was still huge. Literally every five minutes, someone's gonna ask you if you want something here. If you want buko or like if you wanna buy anklets. Thank you. Yeah. There. Just chill there. What's happening? I swear. Zero water capabilities. Made for land exclusively. I love oysters. It tastes so fresh. We're supposed to head back to Manila today, but then we decided to extend the trip for two more days. I love our room because it's beachfront. The one we had in Feliz Hotel wasn't beachfront. We had to go through a mall to get to the beach, but here it's right in front of us, which I love. To my right is the bathroom. There's toiletries here and a mirror and a blow dryer. Thank you! They gave us calamansi juice. Yay! We have the two beds here, a desk, and a closet. And the best part is the balcony overlooking the private beach and the pool. My friend was working here during our stay, so he wanted to give us a tour of the rooms. This is one of the rooms in the hotel. It's the suite room. What's nice about this is they have a microwave and a small, it's like a kitchenette with a small refrigerator as well and a sink. And it's overlooking the pool, so that's perfect. Because you can see the beach from here. There's also a couch with a lamp. And here's the restroom. This one's the family room. So it's the same as the one a while ago, but instead of the couch, they have a bunk bed here. If you're going with your family on a trip, this is perfect because you all can fit in one room. This is the standard room. It has a day bed here near the window. I am so full. My tummy is very, very happy right now. We went to Two Seasons restaurant and a lot of you recommended 
the pizza there. Oh my god, I got the four cheese pizza and it was amazing. It was packed with cheese. Yung food baby ko ngayon, ang laki na. What I love about this hotel is it's so convenient to get to D-Mall. They actually have a shuttle because a while ago we came from D-Mall. It took us around 10 minutes to get to Microtel and they actually have a free shuttle service here. So if we want to go to D-Mall, we can go right away. It can also like pick us up from D-Mall to Microtel, which is perfect because if you want the privacy and if you want the hotel where there's not much people, this hotel is perfect because it's very secluded from the main beach. This is my outfit for the night. I got this from Cider. I think they have it in Lazada. This is one of my favorite maxi dresses. I actually wore this already a few days ago, but then I wanted to wear it again because we're gonna have a nice dinner by the beach. I went paddle boarding a while ago during sunset and it's the best. He's making fun of me. <laughs> your younger self not believe about your life today? I think everything that I have right now, everything that I've accomplished, like I wouldn't believe that this actually happened. Yeah, everything was just a dream and now it's here. When I was younger, I would look up to these girls um, living their best life, like traveling everywhere. I would see them on Instagram. I think I was in high school at that time. And I've always thought to myself that I want to be like them. I want to travel the world. I want to see beautiful places. 